Welcome to another one of my videos trying to help you find your way through the um, crisis that is engendered, created by the current pandemic. Now, I know that you know that the world is changing. You feel this every time you look online at the news which is there. You see it every time you look at uh, what's happening in your television screens or your device screens. And you also feel it when you talk to your colleagues or you listen to even videos like mine. Global change, change in general, is always there, it's a constant. And in a normal scheme of things, it wouldn't matter. So if there was any other kind of situation, I would say, well, you know, whatever's happening outside our context doesn't matter, it doesn't affect us, because every business is driven by the context in which it operates, and that context is unlikely to be impacted immediately, in the short term at least, by what's happening globally. We now know this is not the case here, because we don't live, we're not anymore, in a normal sort of set of circumstances. So what we're seeing is systemic failure across the board, we're seeing systems which are no longer fit for purpose, we sense a certain amount of unease, we feel psychological, emotional and a lot of the times practical pressures which the external set of circumstances impose upon us. And all this accelerates the change which we feel, it accelerates the need inside us to, to begin to do things differently. So you, the question here is, and you're right to ask it, how do we, how do I respond to this? How does my business become what it should be in this kind of context? How do I keep it alive? How do I benefit from it? The easy answer is that nobody really knows because there's no magic bullet which will give you an instant success. But this is not entirely true. There is something which you can do, there is something which everyone can do, whether they have a business or whether you're in a marketing team, or whether you're putting together a branding message. And that is go down to the basics of what these things are supposed to do. Now, in the 20th century, we dressed everything up. We said, you know, we're trying to move um, our audience emotionally, so we create emotional triggers. We are trying to stimulate their need for something which they're not aware that they need in order for us to generate sales. While those things are still in play, what is really real here? What is the real context of the connection between a business and its audience is the relationship they build in their commonly shared awareness of where they live or where they should live and how they should live in that context. So essentially we go back to branding values and brand values and marketing values and how we communicate that across. So the answer to what you should be doing right now in order to benefit the most is actually connect with your audience. Allow them to feel that you feel what they're feeling Find ways to show the kind of um, connection, the kind of empathy which you feel inside you, exhibit it in your approach, in your marketing material, in your marketing messages, in your online posts, um, in, in the way that you actually do business with them. And in that relationship building, don't look for market share, that will come, but look for sustained long-term relationships and a sense of community. At the end of the day, when the uncertainty around us increases, neurobiologically, we are pre-programmed almost to hunker down into groups, into community settings, where we feel that the protection that we seek is generated by the connection we have with others. Businesses and marketers that succeed in this that actually manage to project this adequately will benefit from the current set of circumstances the most. I really hope this helps.